Hey guys, it's me Honest Reviewer here, and today we're gonna take a look at the Cinco Cho Seho at Shea Figuarts Common Rider Kabuto. Let's go! Very nice. They even make the concept book. Oh wow. This figure looks amazing. Before we start this video, I would like to say this figure is actually a bootleg. You might be surprised when I unbox that figure, but I'm gonna be honest to you that this figure is a bootleg. First you can see. Wiggly wiggly Yeah, that's not gonna happen to an authentic one. You can see it there. Pretty weird. It is kind of feel kind of lighter and the tightness is uncanny. It feels like it's gonna break, but it's not that fragile. But it doesn't feel, doesn't have the solid uh, tightness of SJ Figuarts, if you know what I mean. If you are an SJ Figuarts collector, you will know. And I don't, I don't know if the authentic one have this, but this titty kind of flop. His, 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 his boobs kind of, his chest kind of like, yeah, you know, it's kind of weird. And to be honest, this is one of the hardest bootleg to different, different to tell the difference between the bootleg and the authentic one. As I stand this figure here, you can see from afar, it doesn't look that bad. He looks really nice even the proportion is really beautiful the sculpting and the paint is really nice but I think it is cheaper than the authentic one because I mean I meant that by the quality the paint quality so the only way you can tell the differences between this figure and the authentic one is the box it is not the only way there's a lot of ways uh, the First, the box is kind of yellower instead of fully white. I don't have a SJ Figuarts Kabuto bootleg, but I do have a SJ Figuarts Itza. It's a single Joseho, as you see the whiteness over here, comparing to this, yeah, it's kind of like a yellower shade, as you can see. There's an also another part is the this part the thing is also much more yellower instead of white but I don't have anything to compare and also I see they have some paint splotch over there on the figure to tell if it's a bootleg or not not every figure have this problem but I can I'll, I'll show you right here that the sculpting on the back of the thigh is really bad that is how you can tell the bootlegs and the authentic one excuse for my long nails but yes it is really messy and there's even have runners mark over there it's really bad and also you can see some paint splotch around the hands as you can see yeah and this part is also loose as well i find myself lost this piece twice and the paint on the eyes kind of like it kind of have a darkish spray around the corner it looks really bad it's make the eyes look kind of darker i don't really like that and the chest kind of kind of move around it look kind of weird this parts also move and you can see the paint cutting is not as good. Okay, let's move to the accessory part. For the accessory, this figure actually comes with a lot. For the weapons, first, he comes with his gun. You can hold it like this as an axe or just hold it like this as a gun. His next weapon is the kunai. Really nicely detailed. He also comes with kind of like a Figma holdings hands holding kind of type look kind of weird and I think he is the only Sin Kocho Seho that have this it's pretty weird 
and I also almost forgot to mention he his hand is kind of like the old style Figma changing hand mechanic instead of the new joints on the SJ figure arts it's kind of weird and it's funny at the same time and of course it is not loose as Figma so way better for the hands first we have open palm hand it's really relaxed and the paint is kind of you can see some splotches there and of course it does have a hinge joint here we also have different kinds of relaxed hand this looks like kind of like a holding hands I think that is for the kunai or the blaster or maybe his bicycle and as you can see the paint on this one is really bad well, this one is way better you also have another kind of gripping hand yeah the paint looks kind of weird and it feels kind of thick too like it's not flat the last hands is this hand which is used for his signature pose in the movie in the series overall I think the Kabuto accessory is really good it is enough to make a lot of poses and to be honest this guy is more suitable for posing stable poses or standstill poses instead of action poses but yeah while I talk about this I will show you some image and after this I'll let's move to the articulation for the articulation this guy can actually pose really well first for the head he can look up not at much down and eh, better tilt tilt really nice 360 not hinder at all his shoulder can move out and he can move up with his hand all the way up like so he can move forward backwards really well he does have a bicep swivel he has a double bend at the knee and uh, at the elbow and it feels kind of like easy to break well I'm not quite surprised since the authentic one is really easy to break on this part too. This one over here is really stiff, so I'm just gonna leave that there. Uh, you can swivel here and hinge at the other hands. You have two ball joints over here, kind of like a, like a dumbbell joint, so it can move up, down, pretty nice. This one can move up, forward like so, so it can give more articulation to the crunch but to be honest yeah it's bad you can swivel really nice hinge tilt tilt the the hips can be moved up like so move back not that much it feels kind of break it's gonna break you can swivel here double bend here real nice but it looks kind of weird while well, this side is the same and yeah it does look kind of weird and of course kind of like it had that shaky licky problem kind of weird you can swivel here it feels really tight you can hinge hinge oh nice you can toe bend wow really deep toe overall I think the articulation on this figure is amazing okay let's move to the size comparison here we have SJ Figuarts Kabuto with some of the SJ Figuarts first we have SJ Figuarts Grease from Kamen Rider Build SJ Figuarts Kiva from Kamen Rider Kiva Mayfax the Amazing Spider-Man Mayfax Comic Spider-Man Bootleg Ultra Act Greek Man and Figma Link and that's about it. Overall, I think this bootleg is a must buy. Of course, if you can find it. Uh, to be honest, I'm sorry uh, because I can't show or tell anyone to find this figure. This figure is actually really rare now. So, good luck hunting. Happy hunting. I'm gonna go now. Goodbye. My grandma said I have to go.